it's been an impressive start, so good luck. And... What a strike that is, Matthew Wade. Gee, he can play, he looks at home. Matty Wade moving beautifully behind the stumps. Loving being in Australian colours. Oh, I don't know, he's just a good bloke. He's been awesome for us. Oh, Wadey's. How do I even? Just, I wanted to say he's a dickhead, and I, and I mean, and I actually mean that affectionately. <laughs> he's a dickhead in the best possible way. I love him. I love him. Hey, he's got some volume. He's saying it to the crowd as well. We turn him off, please. <laughs> nice, Gary. Nice, Gary. Oh yeah, the crowd go up. He's so youthful in his attitude and his energy, and he's so much fun. And then on the flip side of that, he's a good leader. He's a very, very smart cricketer. Well, that is a shot and a half from Wade. He's done it for a long time, and he's got a good temperament. So it's a pretty nice combination. Four ball, Clint. Hit him, Matt. Oh, down! Oh, yeah, it could be it. That's a terrific piece of work by uh, Matthew Wade. He's a good athlete. There was a scream of hit him, and hit him he did. He might not remember this story, but I was the 12th man for South Australia when I was like 20 and he was keeping for Victoria and I was so bored that I ended up like showing someone my impersonation of Wadey keeping and he saw it and he may or may not have told our other 12th man to send a message back to me to basically, yeah, probably can't say those words on the camera. <laughs> The real Matthew Wade, he's caring in a different way on the field. He's quite abrasive and competitive and just wants to win. He's loving this battle. Got to run. Oh, oh. I reckon Matty Wade's got him. He loves it and he let Butler know about it on the way past. And then when you see him away with his girls, with his family, or this is a mate. He's as genuine as it gets. He's one of the most caring mates that you could have. I think he sort of got a second win there in his career. Not when he stopped caring, but like when he just was relaxed and content, I guess, with what he'd done and realised there was bigger things outside cricket, probably his family, and changed his perception of the game. And I remember an Aussie A series actually in 2019, I think it was before the Ashes, he just blitzed it. It just felt like he was a new player, a better player, just more relaxed. And cricket didn't mean as much to him maybe as it used to and it wasn't the be all and end all. So they sort of kept that rhythm riding since then. And we've seen knocks like the semi final when we won it, just sort of in those key moments, he clinches it. And yeah, pretty amazing. My favourite Wadey is on the golf course. and We're having a few beers and it's great banter, but Wadey always has to win. So when you mix a few beers with a bit of banter into the most competitive bloke I've ever met, you just wind him up for a couple of holes and let him go and then the blow up comes and it's like clockwork. And that's my favourite Wadey. He's pretty good for the group, I'll say that. We might not have liked each other so much a long time ago. He rubbed me out the wrong way, but now we're almost inseparable. Love each other. And you probably get a few more guys saying that you can do in the best way possible. So, yeah, love him. What a moment! What a hundred! What a performance!